Today, I'll show you how easy it is to make an old-fashioned favorite, baked custard. Matt remembers his grandma making this for him often. He loves it, so I had to perfect it for him. This simple recipe is only six ingredients and there's a few tips that will help you get the perfect, creamy, textured custard every time. Let me show you how to do it. This is an egg custard. It starts with four large eggs, so I'll crack them into this bowl. Then I'll take a hand mixer and whip those eggs for about 30 seconds or until they're a creamy yellow color. Then I'll add half of a cup of white sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla, and half of a teaspoon of salt. Mix that together. Then there's just one ingredient left to add, and that is four cups of milk. Many old-fashioned custard recipes call for scalding milk. So you may wonder, do I really have to scald milk today? And what scalding means is just heating it to a certain temperature. We do 180 degrees Fahrenheit. This was done in years past before milk was pasteurized, but we find that it really gives the custard a creamier texture if you still take the time to do this today. Will it work without scalding the milk? Yes, it will. It will still be good. But even though I didn't grow up on custard, even my untrained palate could tell the difference between the two. So if you like a super creamy custard, go ahead and heat that milk to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. You can do that in the microwave or you can do that on the stove. Now, because this milk is super hot, you don't wanna just dump it all into the eggs or the eggs are gonna cook too quickly and then you're gonna have little chunks of cooked eggs in your custard. You don't want that. So what you need to do is you need to temper the eggs. So that means you take a measuring cup and scoop out about a cup of the hot milk and we'll slowly drizzle it into the eggs. And while I'm slowly drizzling it in, I'll have this mixer running and it'll just help to slowly bring those eggs to a warmer temperature so you don't end up with little pieces of cooked eggs. I'm gonna go ahead and do just a little bit more. Now, once that's done, you can go ahead and pick up the rest of the milk and just slowly drizzle it in. Now your milk and egg mixture might have a lot of bubbles on top. Mine has about an inch and a half of bubbles on the top. If you let that sit, those bubbles will pop, but I usually take just a measuring cup and just scoop off some of those bubbles so you don't have to wait for it. You don't have to get them all off the top and just make sure that you're not scooping up any of the egg mixture. Now there's an important step for baking too. You're actually gonna bake these in small six ounce ramekins. You do not need to grease the ramekins. There's no need to grease, they'll come out just fine. This makes 10 servings. So I have 10 six ounce ramekins. And then I have a large 10 by 15 baking pan. So these cups will actually sit in this pan in a water bath and I will show you exactly how to do that. But the first step is to fill these ramekins with the egg mixture. And I just divide it equally between the cups. Then I'll take the ramekins and put them into this pan. I make sure that the ramekins are not touching. Then I'll take a little bit of nutmeg and just sprinkle the top with nutmeg. As you can see, there's still some bubbles on top and that's fine. Now, as I mentioned, custard bakes in a water bath and that's just to help that egg mixture stay a constant temperature and be silky smooth. So I have some water heated here. It's not boiling, it's almost to boiling, it's really hot. I'm going to do this here on the countertop so you can see what I'm doing. But if you'd like, you can put this pan in the oven first and then pour the water in when the pan's already in the oven because this does get really heavy to lift with the hot water and the custard in. So take your water and just slowly pour. You want the water to come up at least halfway on the ramekins, but preferably about to the same level as the custard is. 
The oven is preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to carefully transfer this to the oven and it will bake for about 35 to 40 minutes. You'll know they're done when you stick a knife in the center of one of the cups and the custard comes out clean. I realized after I got the custard cups in the oven, I forgot my 10th cup but that's okay because it just shows you that if your cups are a little bit of a different size and hold a little bit more custard, it's okay. They may need a couple of more minutes to bake, but you can see it's really adaptable for however many cups you have or whatever size they are. So I have my cooked cups and I'm just gonna move them to a wire rack so that they cool completely. You'll wanna let the custard cups cool for at least 10 minutes, but you can serve them warm, you can serve them cold, whatever way you'd like. We like to put a little bit of whipped cream on the top and then dig in. Thanks for watching today. I'm Julie from Taste of Lizzie Tea. Be sure to check back for a new video.